Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica with Crystal Tarot 1111. Today I'm going to be channeling some guidance for the Divine Feminine. Um, this is going to be whatever messages are coming through to support the Divine Feminine Collective. And this is going to be um, a complimentary video to the messages I channeled for the Divine Masculine already. So if you haven't checked that one out, do check that out as we are both masculine and feminine energies. And while the labels don't matter at the end of the day, because we do embody both when we are in union of self, as we're going on a soul growth journey, it can really help to distinguish and understand the different aspects of self and how we may be, for example, out of balance in a certain area. And um, so I'm really excited to get the guidance for the divine feminine. Now, this is the energy within us that is the more intuitive side. Um, the side of us that has that innate wisdom, the side of us that's more nurturing, more emotional. So we're going to see what messages come through. This isn't going to be looking at what's happening for the Divine Feminine as much as the guidance. So as with any guidance messages on any videos or from any source, always use your own discernment. If the guidance doesn't resonate with what's within your heart, you always are meant to follow what's in your heart. This is general. There are a lot of people watching these readings. And even if you only get one message from this that really strikes you at the core of your heart, um, that is the, you may only get one message from this reading. So it, the whole thing doesn't have to resonate for it to be appropriate for you. So Spirit always knows who's going to be watching these videos, when they're watching them, exactly when they're meant to hear the messages. But always, guys, your own inner knowing and your discernment is what is most important for you. So, um, so with that, I'm just going to get started and see what messages are wanting, what guidance is coming through for the Divine Feminine. And also, if you guys want, watch the monthly Masculine and Feminine readings. I also just put the Zodiac readings up for April. And um, that information is down in the description box. And I will be doing an extended for this for those of you more interested in going more in-depth into the guidance. But let's just get started. What's going, what messages do you have for the Divine Feminine? And here we have, isn't this interesting, the 11 card in perfect harmony. This is where if you've been feeling this happening in your life, I'm getting this sense for the collective is there's all these pieces that have been individually going on. And what's happening now are things are coming together in exactly the best and most perfect way. This is where where we have maybe felt isolated and scattered, we are now in the process of connecting more intimately with those around us, where each of us has our own unique gifts and our own unique spin. But when we all come together as the sacred feminine, um, it's creating this beautiful tapestry within the world right now. And being an 11, this is a master number. Um, double ones, new beginning manifestations. And if, so if you've been feeling like suddenly the pieces are beginning to fall into place in a new way, this is confirmation of that, especially when it comes to our, um, our intimate relationships with other people where we're, where we're authentic and who we are and how we're meant to connect with others. So let's get, um, an astrology card here and see what next wants to come through and we're getting the eighth house of intimacy that's exactly what i was just talking about this is where this has to do with i'll just read what's on the card because there are many different terms here but this is about investments intensity contracts sex erotic capital secrets mysteries obsessions inheritance kundalini energy and the underworld so what we have here is how do we truly connect energetically with others? Are we um, in, an, in relationships or in contracts, intimate contracts with others that are not in harmony? Are they not resonating? Are we in something that's unhealthy? Do we continue to invest in a dynamic that is like static electricity? Where it's like, you know, the things that just don't go together. There's just not this harmony. And 
I'm going to get a second card here because I feel like I want to add another message to this from an astrology perspective. Then we get Leo the lover. Here we go. <laughs> here comes that Leo energy. This is about being expressive, creative, loving, playful, warm, overt, self-confident, flirtatious, glowing, bedazzling. Okay, that's interesting. Extroverted, vital, guileless, sometimes egotistical, proud, trusting, and sometimes excessive. So what we have here is guidance for the divine feminine. Because we're really being asked to, to look at our own knowing about our intimate relationships, our love relationships, our partnerships. Are we living on the light side of Leo energy or are we living on more the shadow side? Because we're really getting, we've had this theme coming through in the collective for the last year, a uh, little more than a year especially, is really taking a look. Like there's almost two divergent paths. Are we going to continue with where we're at? Or are we going to level up to bring in more and more beautiful energy when it comes to our relationships? Now, obviously, the feminine energy just doesn't, you don't have to be watching this for a romantic partnership or relationship. But when we have here, um, so if you're watching this, for example, for your mission or your career or what you're going to do next, you're being asked to get out there to be proud of who you are, to be authentic in who you are. Um, no longer hiding who you really are, kind of being mysterious, keeping secrets. This is where we're all getting called to reveal ourselves in a much bigger way. So if you have a mission or a purpose, this is why you should definitely watch the Divine Masculine reading. This is where we're no longer keeping it hidden. Some of you may be feeling and having new missions revealed to you recently. That maybe you are on one path and all of a sudden you're all of a sudden getting opened up to something completely new. That's not necessarily contradictory to the path that you are on or the mission that you are on. It just might add another layer to it. So let's see what else, what other message we have here for the Divine Feminine for guidance. And guys, in the extended, I'm going to get specific guidance around the fears you might be experiencing from your sacred feminine. We're going to look at the shadows, also how to overcome the unconscious patterns that may be coming up. We're going to look at, uh, we're going to get a message actually from the divine masculine energy. Uh, and what's waiting on the other side? Should you follow the guidance that your heart gives you? Um, can I get a sneak peek into what, what's kind of the reward of following your own inner guidance that's resonating for you? So let's get another message of what wants to, oh, we got two jumping out here. We have the porcupine spirit and we have the crow spirit. So it's time for a beginner mind and it's time to co-create with the universe. So whatever you think that you know, you don't even know how much you don't know. This is where you might have reached a level of mastery in some aspect of your life, but you are meant to learn so much more. So it's time to approach life, Divine Feminine, in partnership with the Divine, to open up to things that we never knew were possible, right? The time for beginner mind card is, is, is that energy of, we're up-leveling you, to go beyond where you've been before. But it's important for the sacred feminine, I'm getting this image of her being the receptor of the downloads and the energies, where it's about clearing out what you thought you might need to be doing in the future and literally opening up to the divine right now and saying, show me, show me the path, show me the direction, please bring it to me. Because some of us may have started out on a certain path and thought this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to invest in this way, in this direction. Maybe we started a business and it's like, let's go, go, go. And all of a sudden, the mission is changing or it's morphing into something else. And so what Spirit is saying now for the Sacred Feminine in all of us is that we need to be very intentional with becoming that receptacle for the, the guidance and for the energies and for the messages that spirit wants to give us about where we're supposed to go next. Really beautiful message here because 
many of you likely like myself have seen the evolution of your soul growth journey and of your mission my mission has I have always followed where the energy has been going and it's gone in all different directions and it's all coming into a cohesive place in perfect harmony at the right time yet it's also um, we're constantly getting given the guidance more and more and so we have to remember that you know we might have a certain mission for a season but it's meant to prepare us for the next assignment, if you will. So let's get another piece of guidance here for the Divine Feminine. We have Journey by Moonlight. Believe in the magic. Because the moon certainly represents the Divine Feminine. Seeing what is hidden. Seeing what is real. Seeing what might be an illusion, but also trusting intuition. And so this is saying that we are meant to continue to connect with things that we cannot quite see in the daytime. Things that we don't see that are behind the scenes that yet are still very present. That are supporting us in our journey. Let's get some more here. What else do we want for the Divine Feminine? Self-reflection. I'm going to pick two from this deck because I did for the Divine Masculine. Let's keep it. You are safe. Okay. Remember I was saying it's time for us to reveal authentically who we are. And to not be afraid to show the world who we are. And guess what happens when we do this? When someone is in their light and in their power and in their raw authenticity and standing fully in their light, it will trigger others. It will make other people uncomfortable, especially those around you, that when you shine your light more brightly, it illuminates their shadows even more. And if you guys haven't checked out my podcast, that is linked. Did I link it down below? I'll try to remember to link it down below. My podcast, it's Soul Speak with Erica Elmutz. That is on iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, um, Podbean. It's a whole bunch of places, but I actually have a... A podcast episode about friendships and friendships coming to an end that speaks to the energetic dynamic that of this where it makes other people uncomfortable but we cannot keep hiding any longer because we are being shown that we are safe it is intended it is important that we continue to reflect on our own inner journeys what we're meant to learn from everything but we are safe to fly here. We are supported by the divine. Even though, because as we're going to new heights, it might look a little bit scary. It might feel a little bit scary. But we are safe in this process. Because we're meant to believe in this magic. We're meant to see things from new perspectives. The divine is taking us on a massive journey here and it's our job to be open to receiving where we're supposed to each individually go. Let's get another message here. We're getting the green dragon. Here it is. Receiving answers and guidance from nature and align with your divine essence. It helps you tune into the secrets of nature. So here's what we're getting the co-create with spirit. I was talking about the, the, the beings, the elementals that maybe we don't see that want to support this. And the fact that it's the green dragon, certainly that does relate to the heart chakra, but it also relates to Gaia, mother earth and anchoring this higher frequency into the earthly planes. So some of you might be feeling a strong connection to being outside to connecting out in nature. That could be part of your mission, part of your purpose. 
Um, but there's I'm getting this, I, I, I've got, I just got this image, this vision of the earth energy, Mother Earth, literally reaching out in harmony with all of us that are here to begin to create the new earth in a, in a, in a much different way. Because the feminine energy has been the connection to the divine, the connection to the higher realms. But what's happening now in the world and in the collective is we are now earthing this higher consciousness, this higher frequency into the earthly plane. And while the, the feminine has been kind of the conduit and the bridge to the higher dimensions, it is now getting earthed in a much stronger way. And so this is where it's kind of boots to the ground, getting involved around um, our communities and anchoring this wisdom meant to change meant to change this planet literally let me get another message here i feel like there's another one coming through and we're getting the silver lunar dragon this is about being bathed in divine feminine light so coming into balance and practicing peace harmony and cooperation well there it is again we're getting a lot of moon energy here this big moon, we've got this, and this is not a moon deck, by the way. This is a, the Sacred Traveler um, Oracle deck. But we are all being called to come together. In the inner knowing. Cooperating with others, practicing peace, harmony, and cooperation. almost like I was getting this image in a session the other day where the fe sacred feminine has been in strengthening in isolation and now it's about the sacred feminine revealing herself in a more tangible, physical way out in our communities. We are not meant to go at this alone. We are safe to expand outward. And when we connect with others that are in that sacred feminine energy, connected to their divine feminine essence, that's where we create perfect harmony. We have all sorts of different flavors and different sounds, different notes, different instruments that we're meant to play, but we are all weaving this beautiful tapestry as we speak. And lastly, we're getting the dusty pink dragon from Andromeda. Prepares all of your chakras to embody higher love. So accept and radiate higher love. Touch others with its flame. So... Many of you are likely feeling the energy. And guys, it's not an accident. Look what's happening here. There, you probably can't see it very well, but there are musical notes around this dragon. And we started the reading with this perfect harmony, the musical notes. That's not an accident. We are meant to open the heart chakra, our heart space, radiate this divine love through our physical vessel and our beings. This is very similar to what came in for the divine masculine. But this is about accepting and also radiating this higher frequency and this higher love. Because what happens when we do this is our soul family appears. Things that are meant to fall away from our experience that do not align with that frequency. They, it just leaves. It cannot exist in the same energy and what happens is suddenly things appear and they come together there are ebbs and flows what happens in a musical in a musical piece is there are you know difference in tempo there's the difference in um you know strength there's the the ups and the downs and the and the the drama within the music 
that just creates this perfect symphony of all these different pieces. Some of you might even be writing music, I do have to say. But this, the, whatever this is for you, it's asking you to embody this higher love, bathing in the light of the sacred feminine, It's really, really quite beautiful. So my lovely Divine Feminines or Divine Feminine Collective, it's time to really come together. It's time to open up to massively new, beautiful energies. Now the Divine Masculine got the guidance about the expansion and the abundance, taking action that will create abundance and, and um, expansion. But the Divine Feminine's role here in this is to be that vessel to open to the messages in order to inform the masculine energy of what action steps to take. So do check out that reading if you haven't. I hope that this was helpful, my loves. And I will see some of you over in the extended. The link for that is down below in the description box. And until next time, I send you love. Bye.